I thought maybe I would just show you one product to use each day here on this page. And first thing I'm gonna use, besides a foundation primer, is our eye primer. And why I use this, I found that Quite often, when I start getting warm, my makeup, right, I start perspiring or sweating, and I don't perspire, I just sweat, and it will just run down my face. The eye primer, I found, will keep my eye makeup on longer. It also helps from it bleeding. Very often, people have problems with, you know, heat. Your heat will generate situations. And so the eye primer is the one item that will keep your eye colors on and on bold or for a long period of time. Now our products have changed formulas, things like that. I'm going to just dab this up above my brows and I'm just gonna use my basic biscotti and I'm gonna keep that right here in the inside close to the corner of my nose because that will help lighten that area. How many of us worry or think about things when we should be sleeping? Today was one of those days for me. All right, this is really easy. You'll fill your brows in very quickly. A very light touch will help you keep that closer to your naturalness. You have nice dark brows. I do not, as you can see my brows, and personally, I don't like them looking too dark because I think then they just like bang, eyebrows. That's my personal <laughs> preference. I know my husband one day said, Kim, what did you do? Your brows are so dark. And I'm like, hmm, okay. So it wasn't just me thinking that. That is the volumizing brow tint. Very simple, very easy. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can just kind of feather it a little bit. Okay. I had one of our new lip vinyls on when I was downstairs working out and I washed my face, but I did not wash my lips off. All right, so now I'm gonna finish with my look. I have gotta go deliver some orders today. And so Ripley and I are gonna take a little ridey and get some orders delivered. I think what I'm gonna do because I have pink on is I'm gonna go with my hazelnut because that will take this a little bit into the browner side. And I'm gonna wear gold. I like gold. Sorry, my body is kinda like, ooh, jittery. I don't match my eye colors to my clothes. I usually go opposite because then it will help with my green eyes. Now, I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna use the fall palette. Actually, yesterday I used one of our classic items. I still have them in stock. So they call that copper and that one pirate. And it's a green with a gold in it. So we're gonna put that one on. I had that on the other day and I loved the way it looked. So let me just get it out here. I'm just gonna pat it on. Now this is a chroma fusion, but it is not the same because of the sparkle. So I'm not brushing it, I'm just patting it in place and I'm gonna give it a minute. Now I believe these colors came out last Christmas about this time and I love them. There's two, there's the pink and the purples and then the copper and the pirate. They're gorgeous when you put them on. I'm just gonna use this because when I start opening my eye in that and you're in daylight, there is a beautiful sparkle to it. This is the copper, they call it copper. I think it looks very gold. I'm gonna take my brush a minute. I'm gonna just brush this away. If you noticed, I did not put my foundation on yet and that's because I know how much this falls out onto my cheeks. All right, the last color I'm going to use, and I'm gonna get my angle brush. And because of that pirate color, I'm gonna go with the hot fudge. And I'm just gonna put that. Now, this is a little bit darker colors than what I normally wear. Yesterday, I believe I used the Dusty Rose up here, and for some reason, it brightened it up. So let me just take Dusty Rose. I know those are colors that would probably not put together, but for some reason, the Dusty Rose pulled some colors out of the Pirate that. All right, let's go back over here and lighten that a little bit. I do it. I just have always done it this way. <laughs> I like the sponges. I like the sponge to come back and just kind of pat it in and put it in some places that 
the brush won't get really nice and close up, but I prefer to blend it in with my liquid foundation brush. And because the way this is angled, you can get into really nice areas. And if you notice, I'm just brushing it down. I'm not going back and forth, back and forth. I just brush it down. I'm actually stippling with this brush. There's a lot of ways to use it. Now, this sponge here, I've got a set of four and it came with this cute little holder. I got it off from Amazon. I can put the link down below. Some of them have flat bottoms. Some of them have flat tops. Some of them are just totally egg shaped, but this four set, I love how soft they are. Very soft and very cushiony. First, when you start getting a little more seasoned, you end up with a few more areas that you have to hide. And with that, you can get into those areas, whether you use the flat side and see when I want to take away the lines that I have here. It works really well with the flat side. Now this is our silky setting powder. I will actually pat this into my areas that I want to hide and then I'll go back with the big fluffy brush and dust it off. So that is that. is to the end. One of the new things that are coming down the path here is our liquid gel blush. And a very little dab, literally a dab, and then I always pat up. Very, very soft. This was from this summer, and there is actually four colors. Some ladies will use that for their lips. I prefer to use our lipstick on it. And I'm going to go with a little bit of our translucent powder and last but not least I'll just go back over my little spot here now I will finish with mascara oh one more thing yesterday I put on gold liner which I don't normally wear let me bring this forward a little bit Still have some of these. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. My hair is actually cut to go the other way, so it kind of has a little bit of fun. But when it likes to go this way, then I just let it go this way. I never force my hair to go a specific direction, and often it likes to go this way because I have a lot of colleagues. Ask my girl who cuts my hair. She'll be like, oh my gosh. Don't know exactly how many, but I know there's a lot of them there. I always use my lash primer, especially on this side, because it will hold it in place when my eye starts to water. And I'm going with the Ultimate Mascara. So my go-to, it's funny I never put my mascara on using this mirror. I always use my handheld mirror because, I don't know, I just do. gonna finish it off so that's my ultimate mascara I'm gonna finish my look off with our lip gloss this is our beach bronze just a little quick one love our lip glosses in fact I believe this one and another color is in our 12 days of fave if you would like to try that gets full size products and sample size this is also a beautiful color. This is our berry. This is also a beautiful color. For those of you that maybe like to have a berry color, this one is a beautiful color too. These two lip glosses, absolutely fabulous. And when there's one more that is like a clear iridescent is a gorgeous color, the three of them. You might not see me put them on, but you will see me wearing something with some kind of shimmer and it's always one of those three lip glosses. So I hope you enjoyed 
today the application for just using the eye primer how it will help with your eye color application it will keep it on it will let it last longer throughout the day and depends on what it is you do for a living you know we all work and do things whether it's with kids without kids yeah so look forward to seeing you tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to feature one of our cream eye colors and we have a few cream eye colors so I'm going to get two of the colors out and I'm going to use those tomorrow. So I will be back and I will see you right here tomorrow morning. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe. I love to see when new people have subscribed to my channel and shared this Northern Charm Beauty Facebook group with your friends and family. See you tomorrow.